it's okay. Yes, uh, it's not going to affect anything. Oh. Here we go. Haslam crosses the line, but here comes Fabrizio. He's making his move right now here. Oh, Haslam goes deep into there. He's going to try and hold it tight now. He can't afford to go wide. Fabrizio goes wide, looks up the inside, can't do there. Turn two, Haslam still in control. They drop Tiger, it's Fabrizio and Haslam unless they make a mistake. Haslam gets good drive, the bike still not moving much out of there. Lifts the wheel off the ground through the fast hay shed corner. This is where Fabrizio's bike seems more out of shape. Hard on the brakes, Haslam's always been good on the brakes in the Honda, he seems to have this part sorted. Who's going to win the first race out of Honda comes the young small figure of Leon Haslam, but he's going to be so much bigger in stature if he can hold on to the blue and white machine and hold off the red and white of Ducati. Hard to settle for third place now. He's happy to get third. Not far to go now. Haslam, that's where he fell earlier in practice, but not today, not in race trim. All he's got to do is, the thing is, he's absolutely laying it on the line. He's got enough of a lead now that he can do, he can win this race, but he just can't afford to make any mistakes. Fabrizio can't do anything from there. The last chance gasp for Fabrizio is through turn 11 here to get on the back wheel, which he's Pick done. Here comes Fabrizio, he's right there with him. What he's going to do now is he's going to get a good drive. Or he's, he's got, got on the inside. Drive. He's no, almost side by side. No, he's got to get, it's, Haslam's cut him off. That's a good move by Haslam. Get Here we go drive. then, out of the last corner, Haslam holding on for dear life. They come across the line, Fabrizio is so close. Oh, oh has he got it? Fabrizio has won. No, I do no, not no, believe no, no. it. They cannot believe it at Suzuki, and it's cheers all around. Officially the timing in front of me says Fabrizio wins by point zero zero four. I do not believe it. Do me a favour, Ducati have won again. Suzuki, it's a, it's a photo, photo finish. finish. So well, that's a full-length feature film as far as I'm concerned, because you could write a movie look, on that and look. start Tom Cruise in it. Fabrizio doesn't know. They don't know who won. That is how close it is. I just so feel for Leon Haslam. How close do you want to be to your first victory? Four thousandths of a second? Get away! Yeah, the boys up in the Perugia timing box will be very busy at the moment. Oh. Anyway, that was a great display. One of those guys, both of those guys think they've won at the moment. So um, one of those guys is going to be very, very upset in a minute. Well, all I can say is that you've seen a lot of sport in the last few months, but if you've never seen World Superbike, sit back for the next eight months and enjoy what we enjoy for the last 20 years. This is what racing is all about. Result confirmed by photo finish. Haslam wins. I don't believe it. Haslam's the winner. Here we go. Hang on. Yes, it is Haslam. Leon Absolutely Haslam wins Haslam. his first race. Oh, Let's get wow. a picture of the box because they will be going crazy. <laughs> wow, I've never seen it literally overturned within seconds yeah, like that. Celebrations <laughs> for Suzuki. Yeah. Well, who wants drama? You can have Shakespeare. This is it. This is the real thing. It, wow. It's only fair. That means Haslam's won his first World Superbike race. Congratulations to Leon. And yes, he celebrates. And you know what? Michel Fabrizio will not take anything away from... He won't be disappointed. Do you know how he knows? He's looking at the big screens. Yeah. His big screens here and he'll see that overturn. Haslam wins and Part what a great result. Oh, what an emotional roller coaster as well. But finally, the, the 91 of Let 